Hey, just beat JK in a match, I think. In a friendly, not actually a tournament. That'd be weird. So we've got Apex versus Crispy, both of which have played each other before, and it's actually deja vu because they played Battlefield before, not as these exact characters. So this is, this is interesting because, uh, as we know, this is the man. Apex is the man who won the melee bracket as Jigglypuff, now playing as Charizard. Well, we, know, we know Crispy mains Falco in uh, melee, and they say that Falco in PM is they they nearly identical. They didn't buff him, they didn't nerf him, they kept him the same. So, it's so they kept him the same as in melee, or they kept him the same as in brawl? They kept him the same as in melee. So okay. This, this, is, this is good for Crispy because he can just be able to transfer his mains to PM. That's very true, and it looks like. Um, He's doing a lot of work on Charizard, who, as I've seen in the past with Apex, hasn't really done a lot. That was, that was really good. And there's that ledge guard yeah, there. Also, before the match, Apex, who should scoot over to more, so more to his left, um, actually, <laughs> sorry, that's just camera angles, actually told me um, he didn't want to be on the big screen because he didn't want to have commentary on him. Which I laugh I get, at. I, get it. I only commentate as to what's on screen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, if something's not on screen or if I can't speculate something, then I will not say it. That's kind of how conversation goes, also. It really is. Hit for hit. These these people cannot. I keep trying to call them characters. They're people. These people um, cannot let their characters um, gain a or let the other one gain the upper hand. And there's that hit for hit taking place with the combo, which. I don't know how Charizard can pull that off, a double combo in mid-air. Is that just how Project M is, or...? So Charizard can, uh, if, if he's on the ground and he hits down, and he uses his down B, it's a super jump. Which ah, is really good. I see, so that he used super jump and his up B was also the same thing? Okay. Yes. It looked like the same move twice, but now I understand. See, this is why I need to know the games I commentate. Exactly, you no, know, Charizard, if you watch, he's got a great neutral position. Especially, it's, a, it's this, it's the whole Almost done. And also, you yeah, have watch out for his jab, and since Falcon's a fastball, uh, yeah. Ape, or Apex will probably get three or four jabs, and he'll play even with the eye. Yeah, by the way, um, the names, uh, while they are on the screen for the characters, they are usually supposed to be accumulated for the camera. <laughs> so, it, you did, no, you did get that right, though, because that's just the way they set it up. Oh. Um, even though we can see half of Apex's face. Here we have, here's the Falco Pillar. Nope, we are not seeing the Falco oh, no. Pillar. We're not going to see the Falco Pillar. Charizard's not going to let that happen. Charizard's got to watch out, he's so big. He is. He's a, he has a rather large hitbox. There's a lot of him to hit. There's not a lot of Falco to hit. No, there's not. But he does have a large, ooh! Getting that smash. I was going to say, he does have a large variety of moves on which to hit. And the hitbox for those moves are probably pretty high. Um, one of the advantages of being a big player is you have big hitboxes for all of your hits. They're screaming Pokemon. He needs to get out of the way underneath Falco. That's very true. Falco's down air is pretty devastating. Oh, and the counter reverse! It is absurd. Well. That's probably what he does. He likes to play Jigglypuff in Melee, which is a character we know is powerful, but oh, not yeah. super strong. And he's playing as Charizard, who, again, a character we know that not, not a lot of people play as, but is pretty strong. He also likes to pick characters, I've noticed, that like to have an aerial game. So. Yeah, no, that's a big part of Charizard's game, too. If you watch, he'll be throwing out a lot of neutral air. Oh, I should probably change this. It is no longer friendly. Sorry about that. This is, this is definitely a much better Falco. Falco's are being so aerial. Yes. His battlefield, battlefield gives him such an advantage yeah, yeah. Um, with all of the boosts and the platforms and all of that. But Final Destination, with it being a very big, very wide stage. Yeah, I, if I were Apex, uh, I'd be rethinking my counter pick now because this is like this is Falco's stage. He can shine pillar, he can laser. He's it's got very all, true. He's got all the approaches for this stage. Charizard doesn't have the approaches. It's very true. Although I can't say that it's true because I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Although I can say no, by seeing this, it's very true. Exactly. If you watch, he'll, he'll always approach with a short hop laser. Always. Yes, he will. He's gonna try to go for the pillar. Um, it seems like he's not getting a chance to do oh. that pillar. He's not gonna give that chance to do the pillar, and he's going for the pillar anyway. What Charizard needs to do is overwhelm him. He just needs to stay close to him so he can't get those lasers. That's very, very true. Try to recover. Those 
laser, those Charizard lasers are going to be what kills Charizard in the end. Yep. Ooh! Nice hit! Is it really? Yes. Is it a, it's a nice heavy smash? It's just, I mean, you can compare it to Sheik's or any of them, it's just when you, when you hit the sweet spot and you hit a tail, it's just nothing crazy. Oh yeah, I see that. That's insane. That just shows, it, the animation that they decided to use that with shows the amount of sheer power <laughs> that that move should have. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make much sense if they just go, or if they go flying, but then all you can see is just like a... <laughs> We do, we do know this. There we go. And that was that was at 67 percent, was it not? And so any percentage that uh, that apex. Ooh, we're getting a little bit of lag here on the home front, so you can actually watch here if you want to see what's going on. Um, it seems to be what's going on. I think it's just a fractal state. Yep, we're, we are looking at a fractal, so that's why it's lagging so much. So for those of you guys at home, please um, enjoy the various slow moving. There we go. It's a little bit better. Um, the s sort of shallowish commentary there. Yeah. Just, yeah. But yeah, yeah, um... If you watch Apex, and Apex is really cool as tech chases. That's the thing that I do. Once he gets him on the ground, he's gonna fall. He's gonna read the ball. That's very oh, true. See, that, that was, that was a... That was a... Yeah, was I did see that super jump, and I'm surprised that didn't connect. No, it's so loud. This is, this, this is the... It's all so much. It seems it's that Apex now. likes to use it. Yeah. It's, it's Charizard. Charizard's got... Uh, Ooh, and there's that pillar! Yep, there it is. Up, down, up, down, up, Back. down. Up, down, or up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA starts. This is not good. Oh oh, 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 oh! Do we? Oh, and it's okay. a double kill. It is a final was... even footing. Both of these players have wow. been going hit to hit, and we are going to see it happen wow. once again. So, what happened there was uh, Falco's uh, aerial side B, if it connects, it will um, it's a spike. It's It'll spike people it's down. Spikes it right down. And uh, Charizard and, and, also and, hit someone. <laughs> hit him down yeah. too, so they were just, they were both in a losing battle with gravity. Every hit right now is just bad. These guys, like, they're staying within 30% each time, each match. Yes, they are. And which makes it a little bit more terrifying, especially with Falco, and while he does have that pillar advantage, he also doesn't have the advantage of being able to smack the off at 70% damage, exactly. which Charizard does. Charizard can kill lower percentages, he's just gotta play in the sweet spots. Right. And he's, oh, 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 did we see, oh, oh. Crispy's got it. Crispy has got it. Yes, they are. And it's going to be interesting to see what um, Apex chooses for his final stage, considering that he does get the pick. So um, Apex is sticking with Charizard. Yes, he is. He's going to want a, he's going to want a smaller stage for sure. And um, if I was him, I would definitely go with something. Um, well, he did kill. He just killed Delphine Plus. But here we go. That was my second pick. Perfect. This is yeah. my second pick. This is, this is what Charizard needs. He's he can stay close. Close he combat. Can, he can get him with the jab. The down tilt covers practically half the bottom stage. This is a much better stage for Charizard. This is. It's a. Um, it's yeah. like I was going. Falling up airs. Yeah. It's like I was saying earlier with Marth. Although we're going to transfer the comment over to Charizard. He needs a small stage in order to keep his foes close to him. Yeah. Charizard needs to be able to not have his enemies running away from him very far. Yeah. It's or Falco really relies on that laser approach. He doesn't have the room to do it on the stage. No, he does not. He, it, it'll drop him off into the various ocean, I guess. Yeah. Into the, 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 what, the what kind of what kind of pattern is that? Like um, it's like a puppet show. I, I know it's like a puppet show, but I'm like I'm thinking what the material they were trying to go for. Like, it's still, it's still, it's still. I know it's Yoshi's story, but Yoshi's story wasn't all pastel. No, it was. I think it's kinda, more. Kinda, it's like Gene. It's a denim. Denim. It's that so the denim yeah. sea. The sea of denim. That, Oh god, I just got, as soon as I said Sea of Denim, I just had a visual representation, like, just a bunch of, like, jeans piling up. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> so, if you watch, you're gonna, uh, what Apex is gonna try to do is just get on the right off stage. Just throw him off the stage. There we go, we see it again. Exactly, he's got it. Oh, and he misses that aerial, though. This is aerial side B. That's a really risky move. That is pretty risky. Um, but it looks like he does have he does have a lot of movement room for um, how far he's got. Charizard does have a flying recovery. Move. Yeah, good for air. Yeah, he, he's got a glide. It's in the air. He needs his down B. Right. Oh, down B is what it is. Yeah, it's a it's an aerial glide. All right. Similar to pits. Okay. Nice in the way. 
Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That jab is just brutal. He can read the text, too. There's that pillar. Ooh. Oh, no, it goes to the up air. Is the pillar gonna kick? Nope, he's, he's back on the ground. How, for how much longer? Oh, there, there it is. is. Look at this, there's still a stiss. They're stock at, for stock these for guys percent. are the epitome of rivals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I would not be surprised if these two want to come back there. and smash each other to the next um, Smash Brothers at WSU. Whatever we're going to call that one. This one's called Welcome Back to Smash Bash. He's going to go for that pillar of the down airs and the shines. Oh, yeah, he's... he's Falco, he's Falco is moving around the stage much more quickly now. He's not going to let... Soft hit he's changing up his playstyle a lot. Yeah. He was going for those pillars, and those pillars aren't really good on this map, but he's changing it up. Both characters are really changing up their playstyle and making their patterns as they're playing. It's, it's really hard for the other player to read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We said character and then player, which yeah. is okay, because I've done that more than once. <laughs> but most definitely. <laughs> and oh, there's that. Right. that. I think that was that might have been Seven Struck, yeah. Uh, oh, that. I mean, that's that's more of a gimp than the lasers. He oh, yeah. He could have used the upbeat, and I, I don't know. There we go. Oh, that is date. This is a dangerous place to be. Oh, makes the side B recovery. Oh, and gets that nice earth. Oh, and smashes it. Apex takes it.